so as we have discussed about the enum that you can create a separate file separate solidity file and that you can define all the enums which you want to use in the smart contract into a different file that's also possible with the struct so let me show you the example that how you can create a struct into different file and how you can import into different contract so let me provide the general configuration slicer identifier solidity version and we're going to create a the file which we want to so here i'm giving this command in this file i'm going to create the entire struct which i want to import into different file so let's come here let me create the struct to do and this is the general convention you have to follow in that we don't need to define any contract name because we want to define only the struct which i want to use which we want to use and that we have to define the string text and we have to define the boolean this is the struct we have and now just imagine that i want to use this struct into different contract so this is how you can do it very easy we have to define the let's say import we have to define the file which we want to use it and here we're going to create a contract and in that we're going to simply inherit so an array of to do struct we have to create the array because right now in the struct we haven't defined that array and but and that is very important that you have to define whenever you define the struct in the contract because all the struct all the struct you're going to create that's going to be stored into the array so this is how we have defined the array and we're going to simply close that in this way we will have the access of the struct we have defined into this contract to this contract and that's pretty simple so hope this makes sense to all of you guys that this is how you can create a struct into a different file and how you can import it and how you can use it in your smart contract and that's the only thing i'm going to cover in this video because this is a very simple thing and i wanted to show you that there is a way you can create a separate file for the struct and you can use it into this into the smart contract with that let's move to the next video